All right, y'all, so what we wanted to talk to you today about is buying land with no money down. So if that's something you're interested in, stay tuned because that's what we're gonna talk about. So the first tip on buying land with no money down is you can't actually do that, okay? So I just wanted to break the bad news to you. I wanted to start out with the bad news first and let you know that for all intents and purposes, there's really no such thing. I mean, it sounds really good and it's clickbait and it sells lots of books, but there's no real way. I mean, there are ways to do it. You know, on very, very few occasions does any deal like that actually happen. So we're gonna talk about real world scenarios and just uh, explain some of the things that we've done we purchased two parcels of land since relocating. And that's why when everybody, when anybody ever asks me about relocating, I always say, move to the area first, rent, get a good feel, get a good lay of the land, so that make sure you like the area, and then put your feelers out. Both properties um, that we have purchased were not currently on the market. So our ranch where our cows are, uh, that property was not on the market. We just put the word out on the street, in the hood. <laughs> out here amongst the piney woods. We just put the word out, hey, we're looking for land, and we approached our neighbor. I said, hey, uh, you got any land you wanna sell us? And he was like, I don't have any land to sell you, but I know a really good friend of mine, and he wants to sell his land, and that's how that deal happened. Now, the second uh, property we purchased back in October um, was not on the market, and uh, we approached, we found out who the owners were, we approached the owners, and we said, would you be interested in selling this land? And they said, yeah, yeah, we would really be interested in selling the land. So I said, okay, so how much do you want for the land? And they were like, well, I don't know. So um, we met four or five different times to discuss uh, purchasing the property. They refused to give me their asking price. So I had to develop an asking price and also um, come up with some terms and conditions so that we were able to purchase it. Um, the last piece of property we bought, we did not have the full uh, face value that we were gonna offer on the property. We did not have that much cash available. So I asked them, hey, we would be willing to buy this property. We will buy it for X. Um, we have half down. Can we give you half and would you finance the rest? And they said we would do that. And it just so happened, we didn't ask for it, but it just so happened that they financed the rest of the property for 0% interest. So we were literally able to technically buy that property with cash for half of the price that we decided on. And we've been able to make monthly payments on that. And very soon that property will be paid off. When it comes to buying land, the biggest tip that I can give you is get acclimated to the area. Now for people that are reper uh, relocating, that kind of doesn't work. So once again, you're gonna hear my advice on get to the area that you wanna relocate to and rent, okay? You're not gonna lose, you're gonna gain so much more perspective and so much more appreciation, or maybe, maybe what'll happen is you'll be like, wow, this place stinks and I don't want to be here, right? So think of all the money you're going to save. Think of all the time, the headache and effort. The, the biggest and the best advice that I can give for anybody that's looking to relocate is to find a rental in the area that you want to relocate, move into a rental, learn the lay of the land, find out where you want to live in that area, get to know the neighbors of that area, and then put the word on the street and the word in the hood that you're looking for property. Because the best deal you, you're going to find are gonna be deals that are not on the market, especially in this insane, crazy market right now. This market is not gonna be very insane and very crazy for much longer. Um, I would say less than 12 months. This real estate market, unfortunately, along with many other things, is gonna crash. And uh, that's just a statistical fact. And uh, we've, we've been in this place in history before. And it's just, it's literally inevitable, but you cannot buy land with no money down. I mean, yeah, the half of 1% has been able to pull it off several times. A lot of times they've leveraged other properties to do it and different things and uh, used equity. And I I've read all those books, Buy Land With No Money Down, and I've listened to some of the YouTube videos on it. And it's just, uh, you know, it's pie in the sky stuff and it's once in a lifetime stuff. And, and not to say that that stuff doesn't happen, but uh, in a very real way, we're almost done a deal on another piece of property um, that technically wasn't on the market when we originally inquired about it. But I'm gonna say, we're gonna save those details for later. So we are debt free. 
Um, we got debt free, I think about four years ago. I know we did a video on it when we paid off our student loans. And while remaining debt free, we've been able to buy two separate tracts of land. We bought a 25 acre ranch where our cows are, and then we bought Legacy Farm, another 20 acres that we closed on um, last year in October. And um, so that is possible. It is uh, possible to acquire land and accumulate land without going into debt and without developing a very heavy debt structure and debt burden. But leave your questions and comments down below on purchasing land, um, finding homestead. We get questions all the time. Um, maybe we'll do some type of follow-up video on you know how to find land, but that what has worked effectively for us twice now is just putting the word out and saying, hey, we're looking to buy land and then well, this, this comes up, that comes up, and then literally the last two times, both properties that initially came up we were the properties that we purchased. So it, it, we're 100% um, on it, two for two on my advice, and so I strongly recommend it to you. Like I said, I can't emphasize it enough. If you are relocating, move to the area that you wanna to relocate to, rent there, get a lay of the land, find out if you like it or not, find out if you even wanna stay. And the greatest information that you're gonna find out while renting in that area and getting a, it's, it's a just, it's exactly like permaculture, y'all. You know how in permaculture they say when you buy your property, what you should do is for the first year, you should just observe your property. Observe the way the sun rises and the way the sun sets. <clears throat> observe the way, which way the wind predominantly blows across your property. Observe uh, which way the rain flows when it comes down and which, where the runoff goes. You know, you're, before you develop all your infrastructure, but just study your property, learn your property, and then you'll know where and how to develop your infrastructure. It's the same thing with buying land. You know, you need to learn the area where you want to buy the land. You should never invest in any, the reason I don't invest in Bitcoin is because I don't understand it and I've yet to have anyone explain it to me to where it makes sense. And I've read a lot on it and I've listened a lot on it and I still cannot understand it to a depth where I'm comfortable investing tens of thousands of dollars into it, or even a thousand dollars into it. And so I haven't done it. And the likelihood of me, um, I, I, I may or may not put a couple thousand bucks in some type of um, privacy coin, but the, the odds of me wholesale investing in any kind of cryptocurrency is very slim to none. Never say never, always keep my options open. I keep an open mind and I always revisit things, but we're learning things about all these markets now and none of them are bulletproof. Certainly this real estate market isn't bulletproof, which is all the more reason why you have to do your homework and do your homework. Just wanted to give you a couple few suggestions here and things to ponder, things to consider as you consider expand. The other thing I wanna say, the other very important thing I wanna say about accumulating property, we purchased this property here. It came on five acres. Well, guess what, y'all? We have 16 or 20 cows, right? You cannot run 20 cows on five acres. So if it was all like, oh, well, I just gotta wait to find the perfect dream property, right? We just need to wait and wait and wait and wait forever until we find the absolute perfect property because we want 100 acres or whatever, or we want 10 acres or we want 20 acres, right? He who hesitates is lost. If we would have waited for that, we never would have had this place and we never would have had the other place. And that place, okay, so check this out, synchronicity. So we purchased the ranch, 25 acres. Well, just so happens that Legacy Farm, the owner of Legacy Farm lives catty corner to the ranch. So that's how we met them, which is how we found out about the other property, which is how we purchased the other property. So all that being said, if we waited for our dream homestead, none of it would have happened. We wouldn't have had this place. We wouldn't be currently running cows now on 25 acres and we wouldn't have legacy. So the big thing about property and accumulating property is one, you can't do it all at once and you shouldn't do it all at once. Right? And we didn't do it all at once. And we've now purchased two tracts of land. We may or may not be, be purchasing a third tract of land, but this is how wealth accumulation works. This is how growing old gracefully works and all that stuff. 
Uh, you can't do everything at once, you can't do everything at one time, and you never have enough resources to do everything that you're intending on doing and that you're dreaming about doing. And as you're stretching yourself and pushing yourself, you know, it is a process that of accumulation. That's the best information I got for y'all. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. Maybe we'll do a follow-up video and answer some more of your questions. But we do get this question all the time about buying land. So I just wanted to make this video for y'all. I hope y'all have a, a great day, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.